Rather than typing a lot of repetitive data, why not let Excel do it for you? If you take a look here at this sheet, we have months, and we did this in a previous movie. Well, let's just select all those cells and delete. Let's go back to this first one here in B5 and type the word January. And instead of pressing Enter, which would move us down to the next row, let's press Control Enter, so we stay there. Now, if you take a close look at the cell, you notice in the lower right corner of the cell is a little square dot. Now, your mouse pointer is usually this big plus sign, but if you put the mouse pointer on that square dot, the mouse pointer turns to a crosshair. That's what's called the autofill mouse pointer, or the autofill handle. When you get that, it has to be that, it can't be another mouse pointer, drag to the right, and look what happens. It fills in the months for you. Well, that's pretty cool. And there's a few other things we could do. Let's go down here to sheet two. And this sheet two is expecting to see weekly average. So in that same cell, B5, type Monday. And again, press Control Enter. Put your mouse over that dot so you get the crosshair. And then drag out here until you get to Friday. Well, that's pretty cool. But there's a few other things we can do. Let's go to sheet three and just show you a few things. Let's say we wanted January, but we wanted to abbreviate it. And you could just type this here in the first cell. So just type January again, press Control Enter. And this autofill works going down a column, not just across a row. When you get that crosshair, you can drag down and see what happens is it repeats. Once it gets down to the end of the series, the series just starts again. And the same for the days. Now you can type in the day, type in Monday, and autofill down to the bottom, and it repeats. I'll just make column B a little wider. If you abbreviate it, press Control Enter, it will repeat abbreviated. Well, that's pretty handy. What if you do for numbers? Numbers are a little different. Let's go up to the top here and maybe just type the number one, Control Enter. And when you autofill it, notice it just gives you a whole lot of ones. And the reason is that there is no built-in series. Let's go over here and type in a one, Control Enter. This time, if you hold the Control key down, when you get that autofill handle. Now when you drag down, and always let go of the mouse first, now it will increment. Well, what if you want to create your own series? Maybe let's go over here to column H. Maybe type in 10, press Enter, and maybe type in 20, remember to press Enter. Now select both of these cells together. When you have multiple cells selected, they share a common autofill handle. Now put your mouse pointer on it, get the crosshair, now, when you drag down, you notice that it keeps that series. So that's all pretty cool. Well, this is all fine because months and days are built-in series, but wouldn't it be nice if you could create your own sort of pre-made series? It could be a series of your clients or vendors or people you work with. It could be anything. Well, let's say we wanted a list of regions where our company operates. We can create a custom list. So here's what we do. Go up to the File menu, so we're in Backstage View. Go down here to Options. And then in the left side here, go to Advanced. And let's scroll down. Down towards the bottom, where you find this button, Edit Custom Lists. Click that. And here it shows you the days and the months. That's great. Now over here it says List Entries. Click in this empty box. And maybe let's type a few things. Let's say we operate in New England and maybe Mid-Atlantic. Southeast, Midwest, Southwest, and maybe also in the Pacific. Now click Add, and you see that adds the list here. Well, that's great. Click OK. Click OK again. Anywhere you want, you can type in New England. I'll press Control Enter. I'm going to make that column a little wider. Now when we autofill, you notice it gives you that list. What's also really great is you don't have to start at the beginning of the list. Maybe if you started with, let's say, Pacific, it would still give you that list. Or maybe if you started on Thursday and autofilled it, and this will work if you fill across as well as down, it'll give you that list. So this is a really great feature. Let Excel do a lot of the typing for you.